Hi everybody, this is Hal for Stalking the Wild Auto Harp. As you know, we are doing a series about auto harp cousins and other corded zithers that are related to auto harps. Uh, in this case, it is an auto harp. Uh, it is a number six Zimmerman auto harp that is in excellent condition and we're going to show it to you now. Hey look folks, it's an original Zimmerman auto harp. This one is a number six and according to the auto harp book by Becky Blackley um, this is a number six and it was made somewhere between 1896 and 1899 um, if I read it correctly um, and uh, this old auto harp has sliders and you can come in close and see what these sliders do each one has these levers that cause certain strings to open up and other pads to shift over, which means that one button makes several different chord formations. And this was a thing back in the day, and it's a thing that has since gone away a long time ago because these shifter levers were probably really hard to keep calibrated and keep adjusted. And there was a whole catalog of number music that you could order because publishing, this was, publishing was Tin Pan Alley. And it was the big thing to sell sheet music back in the day so that people could make music in their parlor at home, easy music, play by numbers instead of having to read music instead of having to have all that musical training all you had to do was push a button and strum and out would come the songs and you could order all of these songs from oscar schmidt international on ferry street in jersey city remember the um the marketing company uh, of the of the, la the tremoloa was in Jersey on uh, Ferry Street in Jersey City. So all of these instrument builders were in cahoots to sell numbers music. And that was the plan. Here is Leisure Hours, Series 22, a collection of standard and up-to-date songs and melodies arranged for all numerical instruments. So you too could play your music front by the numbers. And uh, that was the story of the corded zithers. And only the auto harp has lasted into this day from the, those bygone steampunk era push button play by numbers music days. But um, um, aren't we glad that the auto harp stuck around. We here at Daigle Auto Harps are of course glad because auto harps are our thing and uh, I just wanted to share in this series of demos some of the other corded zither family instruments that sort of didn't make it um, and uh, so I hope you found this interesting. So there you have it folks that's this week's Auto Harp Relative Corded Zither Brother Sister Cousin and we just wanted to share these with you and so glad uh, that we're able to because we have them here in the shop. I wanted to remind you that if you like this series and you want to support it and keep it going you can go over to Patreon and kick in a few bucks a month to keep me happy and keep me keeping on with this series. Also remember that I teach auto harp lessons right from this very shop through Zoom. Wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in your playing, I can help you with that. So let me just contact me through my website, halweeks.com, where you will find all the details. Also remember that on halweeks.com, there is a an index to all 
Things Stalking the Wild Auto Art. This series is now five years old, and there are a lot of back issues, uh, episodes that are way back in time that you might be interested in, and you can find them all on my website on the Stalking the Wild Auto Harp Index. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm Hal Weeks, and we'll see you next time on Stalking the Wild Auto Harp. Bye-bye.